Hello everybody, Duckville here. We're going to do a live, uh, not a live, a, a vlog, video blog thingy today. Uh, it's been a while, I think the last one I did was in May this year. Maybe it was earlier than that, I can't remember. Uh, I was initially going to use my trusty Samsung phone, but unfortunately I screwed up when I was recording. I actually had my finger over the microphone the whole time, so I'm a giant moron. Um, but uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll do it through this webcam, which is a little bit lower quality, so I'm sorry about that. The good thing is it won't have my shaky hands holding the camera, which is going to be uh, much better for you guys to see. Now, I'm going to be talking about uh, three particular topics, wait, hang on, three, um, that one of them is something which has come up for me, well, one of them is a local thing to do with me. Uh, to do with the YouTube channel. Uh, the second thing is about social media, uh, which is something which, uh, in particular, regarding this, the Australian scene. The third thing is about uh, WCS Australia, which is occurring next month, which is going to be really cool. Uh, so what we're going to do is, the first little section of this vlog uh, is really intended for everyone. Um, sort of talking about what I'm going to be doing with the channel um, and some small changes that will be going on. Uh, this, and then parts two and three will of course be directed at the Australian scene, particularly uh, at the sea scene, particularly Australians who um, I really hope will, will watch, I hope you'll all watch everything, like that'd be nice, but uh, if you don't then at least watch the first one for the Australians, watch the second and the third part. Um, so I, so, so part number one, talking about me a little bit more locally. You will of course notice if you're a regular viewer on the channel that I have started doing um, a little bit more Australian content. We've got some Australian videos going up from, from Yang, Ninja, Pig, uh, Mafia, these sorts of guys who previously I haven't really done too much of. I, I've sort of stuck with the North America and Korean scene, which has been an absolute blast. It's been really cool. Um, but what I'll be doing, uh, along with some cosmetic changes, which I'll get to in a second, is we'll be doing a little bit more of looking at who do we have here in Australia. There's this perception, a very incorrect perception, if I may say so, that the Australian scene, the sea scene in general, has no real players and there's no one out there who is actually cool to watch, who is cool to, you know, see win stuff, all this sort of stuff. Which is of course true, you know, it, it's, it's hard to, to win tournaments when you're on the opposite side of the world and apparently everything is upside down which it's clearly not, as you can see. Um, but there are a lot of people here. There are a lot of good people. There are a lot of fantastic people. There are people who also deserve a lot of attention just because of the, the interesting way they play, um, you know, all that sort of thing. And I am hoping now that I've got a little bit more of a following, of course, that being on Twitter and, of course, on YouTube, that I can help out. Now, I over, over the course of the casting that I've been doing, which is nearly two years now, uh, thank you to, um, I can't remember who pointed that out, but someone pointed that out. Um, I've, as I said, mainly focused on the NA and Korean scene in terms of replays and, and, and players and, you know, who, who are we gonna watch this time? Who's, who's really cool? getting information, that sort of stuff, even even joining, uh, I'm of course part of uh, Dream Team Gaming, one of, the, uh, one of the newer teams in the Korean scene. Now, the reason for that is that while I've never aspired to be the next Husky, be the next Day 9, something like that, I have obviously wanted to have a little bit of a base of followers, you know, for people who enjoy what I do, because I enjoy it. And I mean, that that's a key thing, is that, is that if I'm enjoying it, and hopefully you guys are all enjoying it, um, you know, we're all doing a lot of enjoying and hopefully none of it is too sexual. But um, in terms of casting, you look at, you look at, um, you look at some of the numbers, like in fact, if I pull some of them up, some of them up now, um, for a game where you have high, high quality players, like, um, you know, someone like Huck, if you have Huck in a game, you'll get a lot of views. You'll get, um, hang on, just let me see where this game is that I wanted to refer to. Uh, Huck versus Aria. Uh, some of you may remember that one. Um, Aria being someone who was thought to have been Jadong, but of course wasn't, 
Uh, he is a former Brute War player, but uh, he is not Jadon. That video got 31,000 views. This is partly because it was on, I think Day9 did a little look at it. It was also on the front page of the StarCraft Reddit, which is of course a great place to be if you're, if you're a caster wanting to get a little bit more attention. And it was of course a high level game with high popular, uh, high popularity players. If you, in, in my view, I, I sort of knew that this was the case, if you cast people from the local scene here, who of course don't have as much brand recognition or popularity, there won't really be too much. You'll, you'll get maybe, you know, a, a low base of, a lower, sorry, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm saying it's it won't be as fast to rise. Um, you'll get a lower base of followers. And as an example, you, you know, 50, 50 followers on a, on, a, on a YouTube channel. And in, in the case where you're doing local content, um, you'll probably find that a majority of that will actually be from the same place. And in terms of marketing, a little bit more uh, sort of distribution and dispersion of who's viewing your content, who's using your content is much better. If you've got stuff from overseas, it's much better. So what I thought is I would do, instead of going Australia being local, um, I would do it the other way around. We'll do things from outside and then come back in once I've got a little bit more uh, following with, with uh, obviously with, you know, um, what have I got now? It's like over a thousand Twitter followers, um, uh, 600 plus uh, subscribing on YouTube, and it's been fun. And as I said, I'd never wanted to be husky, but uh, having a nice basis of followers is really cool. So what I can then do with that is hopefully you guys will be really interested in seeing some local Australian players. Now, this is this is something which you probably will have seen on the channel now, where we've got. Um, I've been cutting up some of the VODs from live streaming that I've been doing of, of uh, some of the smaller little clan wars or, or even the, um, the gold, platinum and diamond open, which I did last Sunday, which was really fun. Um, and putting them on the channel, doing some casts of the local guys like Pig and Mafia, uh, Rossi and uh, other guys like that, because we do have a lot of really good quality players here. Now, there's obviously that... Um, I don't know if I've gone over this. This is actually the second recording I'm doing of this because I've screwed it up twice, of course, but um, there's, there's that perception that we, ha we have a very small amount of uh, skilled players here. In terms of a player pool, possibly correct that there is a lot less of a base for the players here. This doesn't mean that the skill level is lower. This means that when you, when you get to the higher ranks, obviously you're going to be facing a smaller, a smaller amount of people to play. Now, in terms of skill, people think that you've got Korea, you've got EU, you've got NA, you've then got C. And that a CGM is only worthy of an NA Masters level. Bullshit. Not true at all. I would be more than willing to say that someone like Pig, uh, someone like Mafia, um, these guys will annihilate any person you know, who, who puts their hand up in Masters. Like, maybe I shouldn't put that challenge in there, in their face, but you know what I mean. The point is, the point is there. We've got Mafia up in GM on the Korean server. He's actually that good. We've got Pig also doing the same, playing against some GM players. We've got um, Ninja beating Nest T. Mafia has beaten, obviously, MKP, the little cast they did a couple of weeks back. Um... There's also, yeah, and, and like, you know, we've got other, other players who won't have as much recognition, but are still really good. Um, you've got Aegis, uh, Rossi, we, we had Pinda, unfortunately, who uh, has sort of taken a break for the moment, I believe. But the point of the matter is, is that there are a lot of players here who really deserve some more recognition and brand recognition. And I'm hoping to help out with that, bringing, bringing all of you guys some more casts, Hoping that you stick along for the journey. If you, you know, if you have some time, and but it's a player that you're not sure about. If it's not, you know, the most recent Korean GSL winner or, or something like that, and you're not sure who this person is, who's this guy from Australia, Doug Phil? I have no idea who he is. What does he do? Blah blah blah. Watch the game. Have a quick look. I'll obviously elaborate more in the cast of, of who they are and you know where they come from, what they what they're capable of, all this sort of thing. 
and you'll see some really good games like Yang vs uh, Ninja who was double rainbow in that cast I think it was about two weeks ago um, and there will you know we'll hopefully bring you guys in some really high quality games and you'll and you'll enjoy them so really hoping that everyone can sort of just stick around with some of these more local casts I'm not going to be forsaking the overseas scene I'm not going to be better be just a dumbass uh, marketing move I'll be still doing NA and Korea stuff um, that'll definitely be on the table but expect to see a few more local players from my area in the cast on the channel so hopefully you will all enjoy that now um, what I'll go on to next of course is social media this is something that has resonated quite a lot recently with um, with some things that I've encountered now social media it's something that I deal with in real life uh, in my real life job my, my slave job um, where it's something that is used for marketing used for PR used for uh, overall brand recognition now brand recognition is if you're not sure what that sort of term refers to it's it's the the, the name of um, sort of getting your label out there getting your product out there and, and getting people talking about it and saying well you know I uh, as, as a prime example um, just by the way this is section 2 and section 3 that's mostly for Australian players so um, if you're an international viewer please feel free to stick around hopefully some of this some of these thoughts can apply to you if not that's cool um, but stick around anyway because it'll be awesome um, these there, there are the, the there's a brand of tissues here in Australia I don't know if they're overseas or not but I don't know um, called Kleenex and here sometimes people will refer to tissues as Kleenex they won't refer to them as tissues what is what is Kleenex that's a brand that's not a tissue that's a brand which has been uh, assimilated into the culture as what a product is I'm going to go down the street because I need a new box of Kleenex no you don't, you need a new box of tissues that's that's a fantastic brand recognition for Kleenex of course who's owned by someone um, whether it was in, intentional or not it's a fantastic thing for them it means that it's a sale for them it's a profit for them because people have that ingrained in their head now iPad is another big example of that where people some people will say tablet most people will say tablet you know I've got um, my very awesome Asus tablet uh, but a lot of people still refer to them as iPads purely as iPads or well, you know what's this Asus iPad you have it's not an Asus iPad it's, it's an Asus tablet so that's sort of brand recognition in a way how does this relate to social media? How does this relate to StarCraft? I hear you asking. Well, as a player, as a caster, as a team, as even to some extent some of the sponsors, you want to be able to say, you know, this is who I am. This is how you recognize me. And in a way, this is what I do. So, one thing I noticed recently after sort of more of, of my sort of rejoining of the, of the of the Australian region and the sea region is that some some players here have a lot lower uh, uptake of social media now this isn't just purely a Starcraft or video gaming thing at all it's actually just a big thing in general businesses themselves are very slow to come into social media especially here in Australia it's sort of just been a very slow thing um, this is social media needs to be used for this brand recognition now there are some there are some terrible players out there I'm not gonna name any names there are some terrible players out there who have fantastic brand recognition whether it be um, because they, they have an interesting style whether they have uh, you know a really good team whether they've somehow won something even though they're not actually that good um, but they have good social media uh, usage engagement which is another term we'll get to in a moment um, and they use it really well there are also players who are fantastic players but really haven't gotten into the the, the, the zone of using social media correctly 
So what I would like to, uh, and this, and this, sorry, this, this sort of came to a forefront with me when I was dealing with a couple of players who I did some casts of recently, who actually had no vested interest or even any sort of interest in social media. And as, as you all know, if you've been watching my cast for a while, uh, maybe t 12 months back or so, I was speaking to Rossi, one of the Australian players, and he was like, yeah, can you, you know, can you make sure that you put my Twitter and my stream on the, on the cast that you do of my game? Because it's hard for players to get recognition. This is not even just an Australian thing. This is, this is also something which, in a way, happens overseas. Obviously, it happens a lot worse here. The getting recognition as a player is a lot harder to do. So I said, that's a good idea. And, and as everyone will have seen on all my casts, you get a Twitter, you get a, a stream, and I do a lot of work to try and find a Twitter or a stream for every single player I do a cast of. If, if you've seen one that doesn't have a stream or a Twitter, you can bet your bottom dollar that I've spent at least like half an hour or more trying to dig through, through Twitter, trying to dig through Twitch, trying to find someone's stream. So if I haven't done it, um, if it's not on there, that's, it's probably that they don't have one. Now, back to my, back to my example. Um, so a couple of players here, I, I, I did a cast of them and I said to them, um, what's your Twitter? What's your, what's your stream? Blah, blah, blah. They have a stream, um, because of whatever reason. And that, that's reasonably okay. Some, some folks are still not into streaming because they don't want to share their strats or, or their play style. Or in some cases, which is a little bit more prevalent in, in some of the Korean casts I've done, they don't have the full system that's needed for streaming. Of course, it's not an easy venture. But it, it was mentioned that they don't have Twitter. And, and then something along, oh, I can't remember what he said, there's something along the lines of, um, I'm not really into it, or I'm, or I'm not really interested in it, or something like that. And I was like, wow, really? Really? And I know this is something that is still growing. Of course, as I said before, the uptake of social media is very slow. But I think that for our Australian players here and international, if you guys are still watching, thank you, I love you. Um, you all need to make sure that you do have, I, I would strongly endorse, sorry, I don't want to be f too forceful, but I would strongly endorse that you get some sort of social media presence, whether it be just a simple Twitter where you attach it to your Twitch account and you say, you, you just get it to auto tweet when you're going live with your Twitch and your stream, that's fine. If you want to engage a little bit more, like um, someone like uh, like Yang and Rossi and Ringlade, where they're sort of at a level where they'll, you know, they'll talk about when they're streaming, they'll talk about, they'll engage with people online and engaging, if you're not sure what that means, it doesn't mean the Star Trek thing where we're going to warp. It means that you are interacting with people on social media who talk to you um, and interacting even with people who don't talk to you. Of course, there's times where even, you know, even I or, or someone else will just tweet someone random and say, I'm streaming now or here's a VOD or something like that. Just to say, just to get it out there on the off chance that that person does click on the link, does click on the stream and say, oh, this is actually kind of interesting. Um, so you can, you can do it at that level. You can do it at a level where you're actually much more interactive in general, and you're, and you're using it as a, as, a, as a conversational piece. Where, for you know, for certain players um, like Pig has done it really, really well. I'm really impressed with the way Pig has been handling his um, his social media stuff. Not to mention his brand recognition. Whether whether that's just Pig doing his own thing because he's very clever, or whether that's because of the uh, assistance of TT, I don't know. But. Um, there's, it's something that is really impressive to me. So, it's not something that you need to spend time on. I'm going to write up a little blog, a uh, little extra blog that will go with this vlog. There's so much vlogging going on here, it's crazy. It's like a rainforest in South America. Um, and just to sort of assist you, if you want some help with it, you can talk to me, you can jump on me. Uh, on Skype or, or whatever, happy to talk about, you know, if you have some trouble, because a lot of people are st still have this perception after seeing issues, or, or say issues, with social media regarding bad experiences. 
you've, you've probably seen things like with Coles, with, um, God, what was it, Amcontis, and then, of course, recently with Shell, having really, really bad social media experiences, um, because it's still a growing field, in a way. There's still, I think, I, I really laugh every time someone says that they're a social media expert, because it's still very much evolving. It's like saying that you're, you know, I'm an expert at interstellar travel. Well, no, you're not, because we're not, we haven't really finished that yet. Um, so, if you, yeah, so, I can't remember what I was saying. To get back to it, um, jump on board, grab a, grab a Twitter account. If you want to get a little bit more interactive, grab a Facebook, grab a Google Plus if you want to talk to the two people that are on Google Plus. Um, these, these, all go, these all help and bring us back to that central point we we're talking about with brand recognition. Every, as I said, every player that I do a cast of, I try and you know, get their name out there, get their brand, their Twitter, whatever out there. And if you have your Twitter, People can see. People can say, "Oh, that guy has an interesting style. That guy does good casting, and he commentates while he's casting." Someone like Axlav, for example, is well known for being a, a, a great streamer. Not because he's a, not because he's you know he's he's MC or something like that, but because he is someone who commentates while he's streaming, and people love to watch you stream because you learn a lot. Um, and hopefully. Some of you guys, if you don't already have Twitter, can jump on board, make that happen. Make make it easy for people like me. Make it easy for people like um, Sister, uh, Benji, all, all the other guys who do some casting who would love to help out with that sort of thing. Um, so those are just a, a few of the things that I, would, that I wanted to talk about because, yeah, it sort of it became a little bit of an issue. And it is a bit of an issue with some teams as well. You don't see as many teams. Of course, NV have been doing a fantastic job with their tweeting. Um, I've noticed that uh, newly minted Carnage have also um, got their own account, doing a little bit of tweeting with that, which is always good. Um, and yeah, so hopefully everyone can sort of jump on board. It's, it's a really good way to get your name out there. What we need to do is sort of progress with how esports is perceived in Australia, where you know, we're still behind the times, uh, very much as a culture, um, uh, as just generally as Australia, when it comes to video gaming, we're of course still a little bit behind the times, we're only just going to get the, uh, the 18 plus thing or whatever it is organised, the classification, that's the word, um, that's only just being organised now, we're very behind the times with that, um, the only major sort of league that we have is of course ACL Pro, who's doing a fantastic job, and it's, you know, it's something that you can all help with as a player. If you're in the GM ranks, really advise it. If you're, even if you're a Masters player, who's, who, um, or, or anyone lower, get a Twitter account, help out. Not only helps you in the way that you'll get some recognition if you want to send someone some casts and they help out with retweeting you or you go live and they retweet you, um, but it also helps with getting uh, the, the understanding that the Australian scene is not something tiny. We, you know, we sold out the tickets for WCS Australia in 11 minutes. That's ridiculous, that's incredible. Um, so I think that if everyone can really help out with that, and that would be really fantastic. Um, and I think a prime example, another another prime example of that is Ruined. Um, oh, go away, phone. I hate that alarm. Um, a great example of some recognition is Ruined. He, of course, was at ACL Pro Melbourne. Uh, did a really good job cleaning up quite a lot of people with his very interesting mech style. He has a Twitter account, not the largest of following, but I'm sure it'll start growing very soon. Um, and he has his Twitch. I'm not sure if they're attached or not. If they aren't, Jacko, make sure they are, you silly clown. Um, but the other night, when he was, in fact, sorry, last night maybe, or was it the night before? I don't know. Some night recently, when he was streaming, um, how many viewers? 70, I think it even got close to 100 at some point. 100 viewers on just your average Joe streaming some mech with some Twitter uh, tweeting 
that he was going live, some retweeting from me, some retweeting from others, um, and then of course being on the TL streamer list, all this sort of stuff helps out. Helps out. Get got him seventy viewers. It's incredible. Got him, and he was doing really. I was actually really, really impressed. We spoke about this last night. I was really impressed with how he was interacting with the chat as well, talking to people. That's that's a key thing, as I said. Engagement is a big thing with using social media, and in this case, a, a you know a chat box to make sure that people understand what you're thinking. If you if you can't sort of commentate while you're playing, um, so that's that's a really good example because you can, you know. Uh, just a, a random Joe out of the blue. He didn't even have a C, didn't have an, even have an SC2C account until like the other week when everyone was asking, "Who is this guy? Who is this guy with this awesome mech style?" And that's something which I really hope that everyone jumps on board and starts to rectify because if we want to get more attention to the scene, we're going to need to get more players out there, more names out there, more streams going, all this sort of stuff. Uh, part three, WCS stuff. Um, WCS Australia, coming up shortly, the Blizzard World Championship Series thingamabob, whatever it is, coming up soon, going to be a lot of fun, going to be very cool, going to be a stepping stone. I would love to say this is going to be the most amazing, out, out there, crazy event to ever hit the Australian scene. It's definitely going to be something like that. While, while I have that sort of sentiment, I do tend to... Uh, partly agree with FXO Frequency who uh, who recently posted a blog just talking about how it's something that will, will sort of it's not going to be the most crazy thing that will ever happen in ever for Australian esports it's something that we need to take advantage of and this is what this is actually where that Twitter stuff comes in as well um, we got Tastosis casting we got HD and Pain user these names, well, particularly, we'll go with Tastosis, bring a lot of uh, bring a lot of um, viewers to the streams. This is going to be we're going to have incredible streams. All of you guys, I don't know, hopefully, some of you guys who are playing are actually going to watch this. But um, we're we're going to there's going to be a lot of viewers on an international stage. It's going to be pretty good. What I would really hope is that everyone uses this as a spark, as a stepping stone to say, all right, well, yeah, we've got Australian players here. His pig, his is his is Twitter. His you know, um, his ninja, his 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 Twitter. Blah 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 blah. All along the line. Um, his stream, also. And I would really hope that everyone else will also chip in and say, you know, hope you're all watching uh, WCS. It's great fun seeing these cool players. Link it, post it on Twitter, post it on Facebook, post it on TL, Reddit, whatever, because. This is what's going to help push the Australian culture, and especially obviously relating to the gaming culture, into a spot where there's a little bit more presence. And people say, what's, what's going on down at, um, where, what is it, the Sydney, I can't remember what it's called, the, what's going on at the convention-y thing down there? Oh, just some, just some nerds playing a game. Oh, really? What's, what's going on? Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, let's have a look. It's playing for a lot of money playing for the representation of your country, playing for all this sort of stuff. You get, the thing is with the, the local scene here, is that because there's not much money in the scene at the moment, there's not much mainstream recognition. Everyone of, of course will know that Pig was on uh, ABC, SBS, he's, he's been on all the TV spots, he's, he's like, he's like um, Tom Cruise or some shit. But in those interviews, I noticed a lot of them was, were still referring to it as, you know, what are you guys doing down in the basement? Are you playing games or something like this? And, you know, it's it's a thing where people need to understand that, no, it's not like that. It, it's it's a thing where we all come together, we watch someone play a sport, not an e-sport, a sport, and there's money on the line, there's uh, prizes, there's, uh, you know, trophy, all that sort of thing. And it's not something that is just down at the basement in your mum's house. It's something that is legit and I would really hope that we can use this event as a way to funnel attention from the international scene into the Australian scene and say you know despite the fact that you may be you may be in um, you may be in East Coast uh, you may be in East Coast 
of USA, but watch some of these VODs. Watch some of these streams if you can, if you're still awake. If you're from uh, Europe, watch some of this stuff as well. Watch these VODs, blah, 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 blah. What this does, with more viewers comes more attention. With more attention comes more uh, sponsorships because in the end the sponsors are just out there to have a look and say, where can we make some more money? Let's invest in esports in StarCraft 2 to get a good um, return on our investment because there are more viewers there. So that's how we're gonna get more money into the scene and more people recognizing it as a mainstream thing. So with that, as I said, make sure you're out there doing as much as you can to get some more attention to WCS Australia, get some international viewers if you can, um, post some threads on Reddit talking while everything is going on, saying, oh my God, wasn't that night I swear I'm crazy? Wasn't that Colossus drop insane? All this sort of stuff. Um, and then, you know, hopefully that really helps out. So, yes, it is going to be a fantastic event. It is going to be heaps of fun. I was lucky to, lucky enough to snag a ticket. Um, but everyone needs to jump on board and help out. And as, as uh, In Control um, made a reference to in one of his posts on Team Liquid a while ago, I can't remember exactly what it was, or well, maybe it wasn't him. If you have a talent, bring it to the table. Jump onto sc2c.com, post. I'm pretty good with Photoshop. I'm really good with web design. I'm good at, you know, I'm good. I'm also good at social media. I'm, I'm blah, 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 blah. Help out. Give everyone a helping hand. It'll help the scene grow. It means there's more, more attention here from sponsors and that sort of thing, which means that we can have cooler events. We can have more players going abroad. We'll have, you know, Mafia going overseas to MLG. Winning an MLG for Australia, not bad. Um, and, you know, I think that sort of call to arms is something that everyone needs to sort of consider as well, because it would be really, really good. Um, all right. Now, with that, uh, hopefully, hopefully someone's learned something. I know I have, and that's not to hold my phone where my thumb is over the mic, so I don't have to record this twice. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you're a, if you're an international viewer, thank you for watching the whole thing. Hopefully, you've also learned something. This 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 theory about um, the social media stuff doesn't apply just to Australia. It applies to other countries as well. So bear in mind. Um, and for the the Aussie folks and blokes out there, um, if you need some, if you want to talk to me about social media stuff, give me a bell. Um, jump on the wire, and I'm happy to have a talk about it. If you, um, and, and speaking of which, that's the biggest thing about social media, is we're in a community that is online. Everything is basically electronic. There is, I really can't think of a reason not to at least have a Twitter account that says, blah, 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 this is me, and then have it automatically attached to your, to your, your uh, stream account, automatically tweet, you don't need to do anything after that. That's as simple as I'm saying. Is, is it, that's, that's what I would really endorse that everyone do if you don't already have it. If you want to engage with your uh, followers, awesome. Uh, but anyway, as I said, blog post coming up talking about um, some, some options and some ways to engage with people. Also, as I said, if you need some help, come to me or come to, there are a lot of people in the community who are really good with uh, handling social media and of course marketing in general. Um, I think I've gone over everything I wanted to. Uh, yeah, all right, that will do. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll have some fun at WCS, whether you're watching or you are there. Uh, and I hope to see you all there.